Brett Kavanaugh is now officially part of the Supreme Court. He was sworn in yesterday following a confirmation vote. He will take a seat on the bench in just days. President Trump took to Twitter to voice his approval of the vote, saying, I applaud and congratulate the U.S. Senate for confirming our great nominee, Judge Brett Kavanaugh, to the United States Supreme Court. Later today, I will sign his commission of appointment, and he will be officially sworn in. Very exciting. Kavanaugh's confirmation has received mixed reviews. This vote to confirm Brett Kavanaugh is a threat to our basic human rights, to people that stand at the margins in our society. So joining me this morning is former federal prosecutor Curtis Fallgatter to talk about this. Now, as a former federal prosecutor, what are your thoughts about the standard used by the Senate to make this confirmation? You know, uh, it was a mixed review. At some point, they thought it was kind of a criminal case. It's not. And then he sort of fell back to the civil standard, preponderance. So you've seen some of the senators say, well, I can't be convinced more likely than not that he was involved in that rape. Well, this is not a civil lawsuit. It's not a criminal lawsuit. This is about the fitness for a man to be one of the nine most powerful judges in America. That's it, fitness. Uh, uh, the president himself said that he believed uh, Dr. Ford's uh, accusations. That should have been enough. But beyond all that was his entire demeanor during the Senate confirmation hearings. And uh, no uh, finer and more qualified opinion person than uh, former Supreme Court Justice Stevens, who supported Kavanaugh, listened to the Senate confirmation hearings, and came out and said he's not fit for the Supreme Court position. So fitness should have been the criteria, not some civil or criminal proof. It's not about whether he did it or not. Like you said, it's not, it wasn't a trial, but just more so if he fit the, the resume. The and whether it's a rape, whether it's demeanor, which of course during the confirmation hearings he demonstrated no judicial demeanor whatsoever, all of those are factors to determine your fitness and those factors weren't really taken into account. What about the nature of the FBI investigation? You know, as a former federal prosecutor, I've never seen the FBI investigate anything in four days or five days, yeah. uh, months, sometimes years. Uh, and of course, their, their investigation was very limited in scope, and all they really looked at was uh, the Dr. Ford allegations. The senators knew going in there were only three people in the room. She said it happened, Kavanaugh said it didn't. The third gentleman says he's a recovering alcoholic who had blackouts and couldn't remember. So the senators knew if that was the limited nature of the FBI investigation, they would find nothing, they, the FBI, would find nothing new to add to the evidence that had already been presented to the Senate. Why do you think they didn't just nominate someone else? Obviously, he's a very politically um, geared uh, nominee, and that's what the Republicans wanted. Uh, and that's, of course, not what you want on the Supreme Court. You want neutrality. You want it to be anything but political. Uh, Justice uh, Kagan came out and said, look, uh, it is essential to our democracy that we have confidence by the American people that this is not a political body. It's a neutral, detached, unbiased uh, group of, of judges. And that's basically a message saying what you've done now is appoint a very political appointee. So what does this mean for the Supreme Court now? He'll be taking the bench Tuesday. Very, uh, very strong shift to a very conservative bench. He'll be part of what is typically a five for majority, and, uh, and he's going to bring political views. And during the confirmation hearings, he talked about this being a left-wing conspiracy. Never has a Supreme Court justice ever put any politics into his nomination. Like identified a side that they were on. Correct, yeah. So he's clearly on the far right side, and the left side are a bunch of conspirators. So he's, he's indicated his political leanings, which is not what you want on the Supreme Court. Well, thank you so much for coming on. and giving us that perspective. I know yesterday was a long wait and you know we got our answer of course brought that to you all live and we have uh, detailed articles on newsforjax.com you can read to get some more history on it as well. Thank you. You're welcome.